I'm going to let you in on my personal confession. I am a cheater. I've been a cheater almost my entire adult life. Every chance I could find to cheat, I would cheat. And everybody hates a cheater. That's me. If they're going to hate anybody, they're going to hate me. Because I am a whopping big cheater. But in my defense, in my cheating life, I have to say this. Creative people are cheaters. <laughs> that's, what, that's what creativity is about. Being a cheater. Pablo Picasso was a cheater. In order to make his great art, he couldn't do what everyone else did. He had to make something different. So to create great art, he had to cheat by not doing what other people do. Vincent van Gogh, Leonardo da Vinci, big time cheaters because they made what they did without following the rules. If they said, forget the rules, I'm gonna do what I want to do. Therefore, they too were cheaters. So creative people are cheaters. Now I'll give you an example. This is a YouTube video, just a clip. I made in, uh, I think it was uh, 2012 or 11. I bought this PVC pipe cutter tool online and I couldn't figure out how to get the blade open. This part here, so you can start cutting. That is a YouTube video. I have no shirt on. I have gotten a lot of complaints to today. Why don't you put a shirt on? <laughs> well, you know what? That's probably the first YouTube video ever made out of billions of YouTube videos made that someone didn't have a shirt on demonstrating something. Everybody has a shirt on. Of course, the ladies always got a shirt on. But the men, every one of them, if they want to be taken serious, <laughs> they put a shirt on. Well, I don't get the point of it. I don't wear a shirt uh, when the weather gets warm. I just don't. So I'm going to make videos. You know, I could put a shirt on. But sometimes I get tired. I don't want to put a shirt on. So... I began my cheating in YouTube <laughs> nearly 10 years ago by not bothering to put a shirt on. That was my cheating beginning on YouTube. Now I'll show another example of my gross cheating. This is a sheet of music for guitar that I was given to play by Juan Mercadal, Maestro Juan Mercadal, internationally renowned guitarist. And I studied under him, as you can see at the top left. Uh, this uh, study was assigned to me in 1969. As you can see on this particular piece of music, it is all marked up in pencil by me not by Juan Mercadal. I marked this up. And why did I mark this up? Because I couldn't understand the music. The only way that I could understand this music was by cheating. So I marked it all up so I could play it. No one has ever marked up music like I've marked it up. 
and probably never will. But I had to cheat in order to understand this music. So I came in uh, to play this piece for uh, Mercadal for a critique as a student. <laughs> and he took one look at this sheet and he said, what the hell have you done to the music? He says, don't ever do this again. I cannot read this. I cannot read through all of your markings. <laughs> Well, I just explained to him, I don't understand this music unless I mark it up this way. Anyways, he was very angry because he could not read the music, which he was very familiar with. <laughs> so that is another example of my cheating.